Honorable Senator Aquilino L. Pimentel III will sponsor the report of the Joint Committee. House Majority Leader Gonzalez II. Mr. Speaker, on the part of the House of Representatives, this representation will sponsor the report of the Joint Committee. The Honorable Senator Aquilino L. Pimentel III is recognized to deliver his sponsorship speech. Mr. Senate President, Mr. Speaker of the House, as co-chairperson of the Joint Committee, together with Congressman Neptali Boyd Gonzalez II, that served as the National Board of Canvassers, I respectfully submit for consideration by this August Chamber in joint public session the report of the Joint Committee on the Canvas of Votes for, for the President and Vice President, as well as the resolution of both Houses No. 1, approving the report of the Joint Committee, declaring the results of the national elections held on May 9, 2016, for the offices of President and Vice President, and proclaiming the duly elected President and Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. For the efficient and expeditious canvassing of 167 COCs, COCs uh, means uh, certificates of canvas, at record speed of three days, I would like to thank the following. My co-chairman from the House of Representatives, Congressman Neptali M. Gonzalez II, and the members and alternates of the Senate and House panels, namely, on the part of the Senate, Senator Juan Edgardo Angara, Senator Juan Ponce Enrile, Senator Chupisto Gingona III, Senator Sergio Osmeña, Senator Ralph Recto, Senator Vicente Soto III, and Senator Cynthia Villar and Joseph, JV, Joseph Victor J.V. Ejercito as alternates. On the part of the House of Representatives, Representative Neptali Gonzalez II, Chairman, Representative Elpidio Barsaga Jr., Representative Silvestre Bellu III, Ferdinand Castro, Romero Federico Quimbo, Rufus Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Reynaldo Omali, and Representatives Ronaldo Zamora, Rolando Andaya, Ibarra Gutierrez, and Oscar Rodriguez as alternates. The, Secretary, the Senate Secretary, Oscar G. Yabes, and Secretary General of the House of Representatives, Marilyn Barua Yap, the staff of the Joint Secretariat, the lawyers of the candidates, and the following Commission on Elections officials. Honorable Robert S. Lim, Commissioner, Chairman of the Steering Committee and Head of the Project Monitoring Office. Honorable Arthur D. Lim, Commissioner, Chairman of the Office of Overseas Voting. Attorney Jose M. Tolentino, Jr., the Executive Director. Attorney Bartolome J. C. Cruz, Deputy Executive Director for Operations. Attorney Chupisto E. L. Nas, Jr., Director for Election and Barangay Affairs Department. Attorney Consuelo B. Jola, Secretary of the Commission. Attorney Divine Blas Perez, Office of Overseas Voting. Attorney Dino Maglasang, Office of Overseas Voting. Acting Director Maria Juana S. Valesa, Office of Overseas Voting. Al Mr. Alvin C. Henota, Information Technology Officer of the NBOC CCS Operator. We, we also have to thank the chairpersons from the Board of Canvassers for Laguna, Ilocosur, Davao del Norte, Antique, El Vilo City, Lanao del Sur, and Northern Samar for traveling all the way from their respective provinces and cities to attend the canvassing in order to explain what occurred in their respective jurisdictions. Also, we have to thank the distinguished members of both chambers for their cooperation and great help. And lastly, we thank Senate President Franklin M. Grilon and House Speaker Feliciano Belmonte, Jr., for entrusting to us, the members of the Joint Committee, this important and significant task of, of canvassing the votes for President and Vice President. After the approval of the rules of the Joint Public Session of Congress for the canvassing of the votes for the Presidential and Vice Presidential candidates in the May 9, 2016 elections, on May 24, 2016, and thereafter the constitution of the Joint Committee with the designation of its chairman, members, and alternates, for both Senate and House panels in accordance with Rule 6, Section 9 of our rules, your Joint Committee began its work on the very next day, May 25, 2016. In accordance with the rules, we proceeded to consider first the electronically transmitted COC in the order that they arrived in the Consolidation and Canvassing System, that is the CCS. 
There were 123 COCs received in the, CS, in the CCS. Pursuant to the rules, the electronically transmitted COCs were generated and printed from the CCS, and these were compared with the COCs physically delivered to the Senate. If there was no discrepancy between the votes for president and vice president for any candidate in the electronically transmitted COC and in the physically delivered COC, the electronically transmitted COC was admitted to the canvas. On the first day of canvassing, the Joint Committee considered 48 COCs from 23 provinces, 15 cities, 1 district, and 9 countries. The very first COC to be considered came from Davao del Sur, and when the CCS was opened, it was discovered that there were five electronically transmitted COCs. However, four of the five COCs generated from the CCS were identical to one another, and the votes for president and vice president were in much the votes, much the number of votes in the physically delivered COC. Only the first electronically transmitted COC had figures different from the rest of the COCs and the numbers contained therein were significantly less than the figures in the other electronically transmitted COCs. It appeared that the figures contained in the first ele electronically transmitted COC came from the pre-logic and accu accuracy tests, pre-LAT, which had been conducted before voting occurred on May 9, 2016. After the lawyers were given the opportunity to make observations and objections, and none of them expressed opposition to the canvas of any of the electronically transmitted COCs which match the physically delivered COC. The second electronically transmitted COC for the Baudel Sur was admitted to the canvas. For overseas absentee voting, two countries, namely Malaysia and the Kingdom of Bahrain, had electronically transmitted COCs from the CCS, but no corresponding COCs physically delivered to us. There was actually a special diplomatic pouch delivered from the Kingdom of Bahrain, but when the package was opened, it was discovered to contain only a vote counting machine, but there was no COC. Nevertheless, because of the lack of objection or opposition from the lawyers of the candidates and seeing, no, this, seeing, no, seeing nothing to alarm us from the electronically transmitted COC for Malaysia and the Kingdom of Bahrain, these were admitted to the canvas. At the end of the first day, 45 COCs were admitted to the canvas from 20 provinces, 15 cities, 1 district, and 9 countries. Canvassing of three COCs from Laguna, Ilocosur, and Davao del Norte were suspended because there were discrepancies between the multiple copies of the electronically transmitted COCs and the physically delivered COCs as to the number of votes for president and vice president. The chairpersons of the provincial boards of canvassers of these provinces were summoned to the COMELEC to come to the plenary hall of the House of Representatives the next day to explain the discrepancies. The COMELEC was also directed to give an explanation as to the reasons for the delay in the physical delivery of the COCs from Malaysia and the Kingdom of Bahrain. On the second day, the Joint Committee considered 73 COCs from 55 provinces nine cities and eight countries. The Joint Committee resumed consideration of, of the suspended COCs from the provinces of Laguna, Ilocosur, and Davao del Norte. The COCs for these provinces were included in the canvas after the explanations given by the chairpersons of the Board of Canvassers. Ator Attorney Gloria Ramos Pitalio appeared for Laguna, Attorney Rodora Arosena for Ilocosur, and Attorney Jennifer Ponpon Ancla for Davao del Norte. Their explanations were accepted. For Laguna, it was the manually prepared and physically delivered COC which was admitted to the canvas after it had been established that the electronically transmitted COC for Laguna included the pre-LAT results for the municipality of Rizal and that the provincial COC with the corrected results could no longer be transmitted to Congress's C CCS after the, C the CCS assigned to the province no longer functioned. For Ilocosur, the electronically transmitted COC, which included the correct results for the municipality of San Ildefonso, signed by Attorney Arosena, 
which matched the correct physically delivered COC was canvassed. For the Valdem Norte, the electronically transmitted COC, which included the correct results for the municipality of Asuncion, signed by Attorney Ancla, which matched the physically delivered COC, was the one canvassed. There were two electronically transmitted COCs and two physically delivered COCs for the province of Bohol. The initial electronically transmitted and physically delivered COCs included the votes of the municipality of Baclayon with, pre -lat, with the pre-LAT results. Thus, the subsequent electronically transmitted COC with the correct results for the municipality of Baclayon which matched the subsequently physically delivered COC with the correct results for Baclayon was admitted to the canvas. For the province of Southern Leyte, the first one of the three electronically transmitted COCs did not match the votes in the physically delivered COCs for President and Vice President. This was due to the fact that the initial electronic transmissions of the COC for these provinces included the pre lat results of the municipalities of Inundayan and Silgo. Since the two subsequent electronically transmitted COCs matched the physically delivered COC for Southern Leyte, the second electronically transmitted COC was the one included in the canvas. For Nueva Ecija, there were three electronically transmitted COCs and two physically delivered COCs. The initial electronically transmitted COC and physically delivered COCs included the pre lat results for the municipality of Llanera. Thus, the subsequent electronically transmitted COC for Neva Isia with the correct results for the municipality of Llanera, which matched the subsequently delivered COC with correct results for, for Llanera, was admitted to the canvas. At the end of the second day, 69 COCs had been admitted to the canvas for the day, which came from 54 provinces, 8 cities, and 6 countries. There were two COCs from the People's Republic of China, one electronically transmitted with a corresponding physically delivered COC, which came from the mainland, and a manually prepared and tabulated COC which reflected the voting in Taiwan because Taiwan did not have automated elections. Canvassing of four COCs from Antique, Iloilo City, Kuwait, and Canada were suspended. The canvassing of COCs from Kuwait and Canada was suspended because only electronically transmitted COCs were available for them since the special diplomatic pouches which were supposed to contain the COCs have not yet been delivered to the Senate. Canvassing of the COC from Antique was suspended because there was a discrepancy between the electronically transmitted COC and the physically delivered COC as to the number of votes for President and Vice President. The canvassing of the COC from Iloilo City was suspended because the, C because the city certificate of canvas could not be located inside the ballot box that was physically delivered to the Senate. The chairpersons of the, of the boards of canvassers of Antique and Iloilo City were summoned by the Joint Committee for the Comelec to come to the plenary hall of the House of Representatives the next day to give their explanations. The Comelec was required by, by the Joint Committee to give a written explanation as to the reasons for the delay in the delivery of the COCs from Kuwait and Canada. The chairpersons of the Provincial Board of Canvassers for Lanao del Sur and Northern Samar were also summoned by the Joint Committee through the Comelec in anticipation of problems that may be encountered in the canvas of these two areas based on the report given by the COMELEC. By the end of the second day, the Joint Committee had cumulatively canvassed a total of 114 COCs. On the third day, the Joint Committee canvassed 53 COCs from seven provinces, one city, one from local absentee voting, one from detainee voting, and 43 countries. The Joint Committee resumed consideration of the suspended COCs from the province of Antique, from Kuwait, and the city of Iloilo. For Antique, the chairman of the Provincial Board of Canvassers, Attorney Jesse B. Suarez, explained that the figures in the physically delivered COC were higher than the figures in the electronically transmitted COC because the former contained the votes of two 
clustered precincts in the municipalities of Ali'i and San Remigio, which conducted special elections on May 16, 2016. And the reason for the special elections was the shortage of official ballots for the said precincts on May 9, 2016. After the explanation, and there being no objection or, or opposition from the Council of the Candidates, the manually prepared and physically delivered COC from Antique was admitted to the canvas. The COC from Kuwait was canvassed after it was manifested that the special diplomatic pouch from Kuwait had been delivered earlier by the representative of the Comelec, and it was compared and found to match the electronically transmitted COC from the CCS. The, CC, the COC from Iloilo City was immediately canvassed after the chairman of the City Board of Canvassers, Attorney Jomar Alizad Betita, was able to locate the physically delivered COC among the documents contained in the ballot, in the ballot box for Iloilo City. And it was shown that the figures in the said COC match those of its counterpart electronically transmitted COC. For the province of Manao del Sur, the figures contained in the, in the electronically transmitted COC match the figures in the physically delivered COC. However, there was a notation in the physically delivered COC that the canvas for one clustered prison in Masu was not included, that the votes for one precinct in Masu were not included in the canvas, in the provincial canvas. Attorney Roberto de la Peña, chairperson of the PBOC, was summoned and he explained that 279 ballots in one clustered precinct in Masu were not accepted by the VCM, which had broken down, and as such, the canvas of the municipality of Masu was incomplete. He further manifested that the 279 ballots, as well as the VCM, are now in the gymnasium of the provincial capital of Lanao del Sur. After the explanation of Atoni de la Peña, the electronically transmitted COC for Lanao del Sur, which matched the physically delivered COC, was admitted to the canvas. After all the electronically transmitted COCs were canvassed, with the exception of COCs from Canada and Northern Samar, which were temporary, temporarily suspended pending the arrival of the pouch from Canada and the chairperson of the PBOC of Northern Samar, the Joint Committee considered the canvas of 43 physically delivered COCs, and these are without corresponding electronically transmitted COCs. Of these 43 COCs, 42 were manually prepared and one was electronically prepared, but by force of circumstances, physically delivered, delivered because it could not be electronically transmitted. Two manually prepared COCs from local absentee voting and detainee voting came in two ballot boxes. The remaining manually prepared COCs came in special diplomatic electoral pouches of various shapes and sizes from the different countries. Upon opening of the manually prepared COCs, the Joint Committee considered whether the votes in words and in figures matched and whether or not the, C the COCs were complete with all the names of the candidates present or had erasures or alterations. If the votes in words and in figures in the COC matched and it was complete and had no erasures or questionable alterations, then the COC was deemed in order and admitted to the canvas. When the special diplomatic pouch from Austri Austria was opened, it did not contain a COC, hence the canvas was suspended. The representative from the Comelec's Office on Overseas Voting, Attorney Maria Juana Valesa, was summoned and requested to give an explanation about the delay in the delivery of the special diplomatic pouch for Canada and the non-inclusion of the COC in the pouch delivered to the Senate from Austria. Attorney Vanessa stated that based on information given her, the COCs and supporting documents from Canada were only shipped from, from Canada on May 26, 2016, and would prob probably arrive in the Philippines in three to five days from that date. However, she had in her possession a certified true copy of the COC from Canada, which Comelec received through electronic mail or email. 
Inasmuch as the votes in the electronically transmitted COC for Canada match the votes in the certified true copy of the COC brought by Attorney Valesa, the COC for Canada was admitted to the canvas. As to the COC for Austria, Attorney Valesa also manifested that she had with her a certified true copy of the COC from Austria, which the Comelec had received by electronic mail. During the discussion, it was established that electronic mail is an acceptable means by which the Comelec could receive COCs and supporting documents relating to votes from overseas absentee voting under Republic Act No. 9189. After the manually prepared COC of Austria was examined and found to be in order, it was admitted to the canvas. Finally, the electronically transmitted COC for Northern Sama was compared to its corresponding physically delivered COC. Although the figures in both COCs matched, there were handwritten numbers with plus and equal signs in the physically delivered COC. The Joint Committee took note of, an, of a Comelec and Bank resolution which provided that the votes of one clustered precinct in the municipality of San Francisco, Lope de Vega, which held special elections on May 16, 2016, should be manually added to the votes in the physically delivered COC. Given the circumstances, the physically delivered COC for Northern Saman with the manually added votes for one clustered precinct in the municipality of San Francisco, Lope de Vega, was admitted to the canvas. The matter of the so-called undervotes, which counsel for Senator Ferdinand Bombo Marcos Jr., candidate for vice president, orally manifested several times during the past, uh, during the three days of canvassing, was then discussed. It was manifested by Congressman Rufus Rodriguez that a similar matter had been discussed during the canvassing for votes for president and vice president in 2010, but the so-called undervotes were then called null votes and represented undervotes, overvotes, misshades, and no votes recorded as none votes. At that time, then Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile ruled that such null votes are beyond the jurisdiction of Congress as the National Board of Canvassers for President and Vice President, and is properly the subject of an election protest if insisted upon. Thus, Congressman Rodriguez suggested that the Joint Committee follow the precedent established in 2010 and not consider anymore the manifestation about the so-called undervotes. By the end of the third day, the Joint Committee had cumulatively canvassed a total of 167 COCs which included the COCs from 81 provinces, 24 cities, one district, one local absentee voting, one detainee voting, and 58 countries with one country producing two COCs, and that is China. Of the 167 COCs canvassed, 120 COCs were electronically transmitted through the CCS, 46 COCs were manually prepared and physically delivered, and one COC was electronically tabulated and canvassed, but had to be physically delivered because it could not be electronically transmitted, and that came from Israel. Compared to the canvassing done in 2010, which took a total of nine working days, this time our joint committee did, did the work in only three days. The shortest period of canvassing of votes for president and vice president in Philippine history. Thus, we are ready to recommend to the joint session today the proclamation of the winning candidates for president and vice president. The results of the national canvas for the positions of president and vice president are as follows. For president, Rodrigo R. Duterte, 16,601,997. Manuel A. Roas III, 9,978,175. Mary Grace Natividad Espo, 9,100,991. Jejomar C. Binay, 5,416,140. 
Miriam P. Defensor Santiago, 1,455,532. And Roy V. Senyeres, 25,779. For Vice President, Maria Leonor G. Robredo, 14,418,872. Ferdinand Al Marcos Jr., 14,155,344. Alan Peter S. Cayetano, 5,903,379. Francis Joseph G. Escudero, 4,931,962. Antonio F. Trillanes IV, 868,501 and Gregorio B. Hunasan II, 788,881. The results of the canvas show that Rodrigo Rodi Roa Duterte and Maria Leonor Leni G. Robredo <laughs> obtained, obtained the highest number of votes for president and vice president, respectively. In view of the foregoing, the Joint Committee recommends that Congress, as the National Board of Canvassers, approves the report of the Joint Committee and the resolution of both Houses of Congress Number 1, declaring the results of the national elections held on May 9, 2016, for the Office of President and Vice President, and proclaiming Rodrigo Roa Duterte as the duly elected President of the Republic of the Philippines and Maria Leonor G. Robredo as the duly elected Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Maraming salamat po. Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Order, please. Order. Order. Our parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, parliamentary inquiry. to thank the following, my co-chairman from the House of Representatives, Congressman Neptali M. Gonzalez II, and the members and alternates of the Senate and House panels, namely, on the part of the Senate, Senator Juan Edgardo Angara, Senator Juan Ponce Enrile, Senator Chupisto Gingona III, Senator Sergio Osmeña, Senator Ralph Recto, Senator Vicente Soto III, and Senator Cynthia Villar and Joseph J.B. Joseph Victor J.B. Ejercito as alternates. On the part of the House of Representatives, Representative Neptali Gonzalez II, Chairman, Representative Elpidio Barsaga Jr., Representative Silvestre Belli III, Ferdinand Castro, Romero Federico Quimbo, Rufus Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Reynos, as co-chairperson of the Joint Committee, together with Congressman Neptali Boyd Gonzalez II, that served as the National Board of Canvassers, I respectfully submit for consideration by this August Chamber in joint public session the report of the Joint Committee on the Canvas of Votes for, for the President and Vice President, as well as the resolution of both Houses Number 1 approving the report of the Joint Committee declaring the results of the national elections held on May 9, 2016 for the offices of President and Vice President and proclaiming the duly elected President and Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. For the efficient and expeditious canvassing of 167 COCs, COCs uh, means uh, certificates of canvas, at record speed of three days. The Senate, the Honorable Senator Aquilino L. Pimentel III, will sponsor the report of the Joint Committee. House Majority Leader Gonzalez II. Mr. Speaker, on the part of the House of Representatives, this representation will sponsor the report of the Joint Committee. The Honorable Senator Aquilino L. Pimentel III is recognized to deliver his sponsorship speech. Mr. Senate President, Mr. Speaker of the House, Jola, Secretary of the Commission, Attorney Divine Blas Perez, Office of Overseas Voting, 
Attorney Dino Maglasang, Office of Overseas Voting, Acting Director Maria Juana S. Valesa, Office of Overseas Voting, Al Mr. Alvin C. Henota, Information Technology Officer of the NBOC CCS Operator. We, we also have to thank the chairpersons from the Board of Canvassers for Laguna, Ilocosur, Davao del Norte, Antique, Iloilo City, Lanao del Sur, and Northern Samar for traveling all the way from their respective provinces and cities to attend the canvassing in order to explain what occurred in their respective jurisdictions. Also, we have to thank the distinguished members of both chambers for their cooperation and great help. And lastly, we thank Senate President Franklin Aldo Omali and Representatives Ronaldo Zamora, Rolando Andaya, Ibarra Gutierrez, and Oscar Rodriguez as alternates. The, Secretary, the Senate Secretary, Oscar G. Yabes and Secretary General of the House of Representatives, Marilyn Barua Yap, the staff of the Joint Secretariat, the lawyers of the candidates, and the following Commission on Elections officials. Honorable Robert S. Lim, Commissioner, Chairman of the Steering Committee and Head of the Project Monitoring Office. Honorable Arthur D. Lim, Commissioner, Chairman of the Office of Overseas Voting. Attorney Jose M. Tolentino, Jr., the Executive Director. Attorney Bartolome J. C. Lucruz, Deputy Executive Director for Operations. Attorney Chupisto E. L. Nas, Jr., Director for Election and Barangay Affairs Department. Attorney Consuelo B.